goodness, after such a full show, I think it's time for a cup of calming tea, wouldn't you say, Dr. Oh, Gunn? it's always time. Let's call Z over. Z, can I make you a cup of tea, darling? Hi, uh, tea and relaxation go hand, hand in hand. Hand in hand, right? So I'm excited. So I've got a couple of goodies over here. So to start us off, obviously a pot of boiling water, but I'm going to turn that all the way off. We don't want to annihilate any, anything that we're putting <laughs> in there. The we want it to steep nice and slowly. So I'm going in with two chamomile tea bags. And these are actually chamomile flowers. That's so right. So really great for this. Um, in there, I'm going to add a cinnamon, cinnamon quill, some star anise. Now for me, you know, sometimes I do struggle with sleep. And I like to have a nice cup of warming tea just before bed, just to you know, again, bring in that rela relaxation. And chamomile is known to also help with um, things like insomnia. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna have that steep a little bit, a little bit of honey for sweetness. And then I like to bring it right back up with a touch of lemon. So we're going to squeeze in a nice cheek of lemon into that. Okay, there we go. Tell us about the medical perspective when it comes to spices and anti antioxidants. Absolutely. There's been a, quite a journey, I mean, from ancient centuries in the East where we utilised so many different plant species and roots over many years with medicinal qualities. Yes. Some of them anti-inflammatories, in other words, just reducing inflammation in the body, but others just soothing, calming uh, ingredients. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a powerful one, a group called antioxidants. Yes. And what most people don't know is you actually do need oxidants. Oxidants are the byproducts of lots of metabolic processes in the body. But if you have too many, they can wreak havoc. Uh, they can lead to early aging and disease and trigger okay. bad genes in the body. So that is why, you know, we need to control the amount of oxidants yes. in the blood. And that's where the antioxidants that we find in so many good healthy fruit and vegetables, the powerful ones like vitamin C, we all know come in lemons. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, and then you see lots in pomegranates and other fruits and vegetables, etc. as well. Mm. So you've chosen quite a few here. But I mean, I saw cinnamon. Cinnamon yeah. is quite powerful yes. as a blood sugar for, regulator. For yeah. blood pressure mm. too. Yes. yes, and your sugar levels so yes. that you don't get hungry quickly again. Very, very good to, to soothe and bring those levels into an equilibrium that you don't have ups and downs in terms of your insulin levels. Mm. Uh, what are some of the things that you, you should avoid? What are the, uh, some of the well, foods yeah. that you should um, lean more towards when it comes to dealing with um, anxiety? Great question. So you get some people that are comfort eaters. When they're anxious, they either eat nothing, they stay away from food. In that case, they have no energy. They become really flat and lethargic. And then you get those that then try to soothe and get the serotonin levels, mm -hmm. the comfort food hormones, up by eating lots of carbs. And you'll crave those foods when you're feeling a bit, you know, like you're struggling and over, you know, overworked and drained. But I think the things to, to, to miss, to, to leave out rather, are things like your central nervous system stimulants. And we all know the things that keep you alert uh, and awake are things like caffeine. Yeah. So coffee, beans and coffee but also the caffeine that you have in tea. Mm -hmm. Lots of uh, tea drinkers can also get stimulated as the day goes on. But our, our traditional South African rooibos, I almost said cultivar, <laughs> is, is very renowned as an antioxidant, but also a safe tea to, to, mm -hmm. to, you know, to ingest. But uh, with drinking tea comes the hydration and the water which is important for muscle tone and relaxation. You know the tension you get in yes. your neck. Mm -hmm. Yes. So muscles need enough fluid and water when you're dehydrated to actually relax and mm -hmm. release that spasm and tension. So you should have a hot drink an hour before you go to bed at night. It's very good. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Jay. So the next time you are feeling stressed or overwhelmed, make yourself a delicious warm cup of chamomile tea.